In this tutorial, we're going to be reviewing different types of appointments. This would include reoccurring, scheduling multiple appointments, and we're going to start by logging in as the scheduling clerk. So sometimes you're going to have some reoccurring appointments. For example, physical therapy appointments might be considered reoccurring appointments. We have the same type of appointment over and over and over. So it's how you'd uh, schedule an appointment like this is that you'd basically choose your patient first. You can also confirm any allergies that that patient has, and this window will pop up for any future request appointments for this particular patient in this Cerner system, which may be pertinent to when you're scheduling, because then you could schedule an appointment around the same date or time to make it more convenient for that patient. We're going to plug in an office visit type, and in this case, is we're going to have a reoccurring pump adjustment appointment. It's going to be at Wyoming Brain and Spine. And then we're also going to put a reason in, and the reason is a pump adjustment. We're going to move the appointment over to the Works in Progress window. And we're actually going to touch the button Reoccur. We're going to define a pattern of time that that appointment's going to reoccur. So we're going to do on every hour beginning at whatever time, if that's something that's pertinent to the appointment. Or in our example, we're just going to say it's going to occur weekly. We're going to make it say once a week, every Tuesday. And then we're going to have it start for this patient on August 6th. And we're going to have it end after a couple of instances. We're just going to say OK. And now we can see that we have two pump adjustments, one on, in this circumstance, Monday at 8.6 and then on Tuesday at 8.7. We're going to have it suggest a time that we could bring that patient into the clinic. And it looks like we can get one scheduled with Dr. Ceramic at 8 a.m. on 8-6. And also one with Dr. Ceramic at 8 a.m. And if we want to select that time and it makes sense, then we're just going to say OK. And then we're going to confirm the appointment. And you can let them know any pertinent information that they might need. And it pulls up for both appointments like bring all pain medications, arrive 15 minutes, and bring your handheld device when you get to the appointment. Then we're just going to say OK. And at this point, we could add an encounter for each visit. But just for time, we're just going to say OK for both of our appointments. And as you can see, the one on 8-6 at 8 a.m. is under Dr. Shramick, and the one at 8-7 at 8 a.m. is confirmed with Dr. Shramick as well. And that's how you schedule reoccurring appointments. And our next example is scheduling multiple appointments. An example of this would be if you had a patient who was a new patient and they needed to do a new patient appointment type. And then after that appointment, maybe they needed an ear lavage. So we're going to pull up a patient.
So in this first example, we're going to add the new patient appointment type. We're going to move it to the works in progress, and then we're going to push the next button because now we're going to have another appointment on this patient. And in this circumstance, the appointment type will be a new patient, but it will be an ear lavage. It'll be at Sage with all the same information. And now we'll move that over to the work in progress window as well. So now you can see we have multiple appointments on the same patient and different appointment types. We can use the suggest functionality to schedule both these appointments on the same day, one after the other. So if all of these suggested criteria is correct, you just click the Suggest button. And here we have at the top, we have the new patient appointment first. And we can have that new patient going to have them at 10.15 it looks like with Dr. Costa. So we're just going to select that time and then you can see when we select that type of suggested appointment that none of these other ear lavage times would work. So, so what we're going to try is to select another time. We can also have it suggest other times for us. So in this instance, we expanded our search criteria to find a time that might work for this patient. So if we select the new office patient with Dr. Costa at 10.15, and that's a one-hour appointment, we could have the next appointment for the ear lavage with Dr. Costa at 11.15. and then we have found an appointment time for this patient. Another important aspect to remember when you're scheduling an additional appointment or multiple appointments is to highlight both appointments when you do the suggest functionality. So now if we look on 618, with Dr. Costa, we have our patient scheduled for a new office patient visit at 1015 and an ear lavage with Dr. Costa right after. And we're going to go ahead and confirm those and let the patient know anything they need to do to prepare for the appointment. And we could add an encounter for each of those. And now we've confirmed both appointments.